Hey folks, I'm Brian Latimer and this is Bash UTV. To talk to you about a subject I'm super passionate about today. That is cranking. Now I'm gonna show you how to target specifically largemouth, but something that I've really, really grown to appreciate and I'm learning that I'm super excited about is specifically targeting spotted bass. I live on a multi-species lake where we have spotted bass and largemouth. And my way, my favorite way to catch bigger spotted bass is with a crankbait. I'm gonna show you all the tools I use and the places I fish to target those fish today. Let's jump into it about spotted bass. Now this is something that, um, that I'm, I'm really excited about and I'm actually learning this technique as we speak. It's one of my favorite ways to catch spotted bass and bigger spotted bass. We all know that the bigger fish like to isolate themselves and like to be by themselves. And I've kind of stumbled on this by accident learning that I can catch some really, in my opinion, some of the biggest spotted bass live shallow in this lake. And I think the biggest bass in any lake or any kind of condition, they're always gonna be isolated. And cranking for spotted bass on the main lake has become my favorite way to catch the better, bigger spotted bass. Now, I've got some specific tools that I use for that. Most of those crankbaits, just knowing the habitat that we're gonna be fishing for spotted bass, obviously is gonna be a little deeper. Crankbaits to get in the 8, 10, 12 foot range is what we're going to use. So we're going to use crankbaits that I can use to get around rocks. This is just a Spro rock crawler. Um, there's also another crankbait from Catchco that I like to use. That's a really good one that gets in that 6, 8 foot range as well. And I got hooked up in my carpet here. Let's get this guy loose. <clears throat> you can see the profile on this guy. You know, even, even you can sometimes, depending on the time of the year, especially here at Lake Cartwell, there can be times where you can get some stained water on the main lake and that positions those spotted bass on the bank. Now all of a sudden that 20, 25 foot of water is no good. Spotted bass are visual feeders and they like to be where they can see. But occasionally, especially during the pre-spawn, you get a lot of rain, a heavy influx of new water the main lake can stain up at times and you can catch a lot of really good spotted bass cranking butt on the main lake. Now, not to discount it, I'm, I'm telling you about that because you can notice this is a chartreuse crankbait with a black back, but it does get down deep. This crankbait will get down 8, 10, 11 foot if you make a very long cast. This is one of the, one of the crankbaits I'm going to use for that particular technique. But typically when I'm fishing for spotted bass, it's gonna be an eight, 10, 12 foot, and it's gonna be gin clear water. And cranking is, hasn't been historically a technique that you use in extremely clear water, but spotted bass love it. They're visual feeders. They see that crankbait wiggling around. You're gonna to see today, like some of the stuff that I'm using looks like shaky head territory. Somewhere you would throw a Ned rig, spotted bass love it. That's where they live and you can get that reaction bite out of spotted bass, if you pick your equipment correctly, you can catch them. My setups for, uh, for throwing, you know, for specifically targeting spotted bass with crankbaits, is pretty much the same setup that I'm gonna use when I'm shallow cranking for largemouth bass. I don't really change the setup that much. The only thing that's gonna be a little different, you'll notice your cast don't have to be quite as accurate when you're fishing for spotted bass. It's more of an open water, just burning the bank. I can be a little bit more aggressive. The only thing that I will change is I will use a little bit faster reel. This is a technique where you can use that seven three to one gear ratio reel or eight, 801 gear ratio speed reel. It's okay to do that in this, this context of where we're fishing because I can be pretty aggressive with the crankbait. I wanna be able to cover the water a little bit faster. I'm gonna kick up that troll motor on six, seven, eight, nine, and head down the bank a lot faster. So with that being said, I need to be able to keep, keep, catch up with my crankbait a lot better. So I'm gonna use a little bit faster reel in that context. It's gonna help me be more efficient. I'm not gonna be wore out at the end of the day after I've cranked the crankbait all day long. All right, so you've seen the tools that I use. You see, I'll walk you through the line setups, the rods, the reels, and even the specific baits. It's time to get busy now. Now I'm gonna pull up the trolling motor, we're gonna get on pad, and I'm gonna show you some of the areas. I'm actually gonna take you to the spots right here on my home lake so you can physically see the style banks, the water that I actually target when I'm trying to specifically target largemouth versus catching spotted bass. These are the tools. Let's go find the houses they live in now. All right, folks, let's jump right into this. This is something that I actually stumbled on 
here at my home lake just by accident. You know, we've we've always had spotted bass in the lake since I was, you know, five or six years old. But in the last five to seven years, maybe 10 years max, the spotted bass have really taken on aggressively. And they're, they're really a force to be reckoned with when you're talking about from a competition standpoint and tournaments and so forth. You can legit com compete with spotted bass here. Um, so even since it's such a new project on this lake, there hasn't been a lot of exploration on how to catch spotted bass, even here in the Carolinas. But something that I've, I've learned this this a good way to catch bigger spotted bass. You can catch a lot of spotted bass. You can pull out on just about any 30 to 40 foot shoal and catch a lot of spotted bass. But to catch those three, honestly on this lake, a two and three quarter, three pound spot, that's that's a pretty big spotted bass. But to catch those three to five pound spotted bass, the best way to catch them is to get up on the bank. My favorite way to catch bigger spotted bass is with a crankbait. I'm gonna show you all the tools I use and the places I fish to target those fish today. It's Mike Iaconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you wanna check out Bash U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bash U TV.